Get ready to immerse yourself in a world of vision, inspiration, belonging, and empowerment. Brought to you by Naturals To Go, the Vibecast is your gateway to realizing your entrepreneurial dreams. In each episode, we're here to ignite your entrepreneurial spirit, offering you the tools and insights you need to turn your dreams into reality. We're all about fostering a powerful vision, sparking inspiration, nurturing a sense of belonging, and providing the empowerment you need to thrive. So sit back, relax, and get ready to dive into the vibe. It's time to take your entrepreneurial journey to the next level. Thank you for joining us, and let's start living the vibe. My name is Linda Ballesteros, and I am your host today. Whether you are a seasoned owner-operator, or maybe you're a new operator, or maybe you just want to know a little bit more about the Naturals to Go healthy vending business model, you're in the right place. Over the next couple of episodes, we're going to be talking to some military veterans. I recently read something that said that veterans really struggle when they get out of the service and finding something that's rewarding and fulfilling as a career. One of the options that uh, offers some of those benefits is uh, becoming a Naturals to Go healthy vending operator. And that's what we're going to be talking about today with Dallas Ketchum. Uh, Dallas is a recent new owner operator, and so we'll be able to hear his story. So Dallas, welcome to the show today. Yeah, thank you, Linda. Thanks for having me. <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, Dallas, tell us a little bit about what branch of service you were in and maybe some of the jobs that you held while you were in the service. Okay. So uh, I was in the United States Army and uh, served just under 27 years. Uh, I had joined uh, prior to high school in uh, 1988. My first job uh, when I came in was uh, in the combat arms field. Uh, it was a 19 kilo. I mean, I drove one Abrams tanks. Uh, following uh, the Gulf War, I uh, re-enlisted and changed my job, went into the medical field where I became a medical laboratory uh, specialist and I worked in the lab uh, and blood bank for about 15 years. I was afforded the opportunity later in my career to become a uh, commission officer, was selected for officer candidate school, and uh, got commissioned as a transportation logistics officer and uh, ultimately retired in 2015. Wow. So, Dallas, since you've been out of the service since 2015, what have you been doing? Uh, So following retirement, I uh, took a job as a uh, contractor where I taught at the uh, Army Logistics University teaching logistics to uh, United States Army officers and allied nation officers. Uh, Did that for about a year and following that, went to corporate America for a short period. Uh, Worked in logistics as a uh, regional manager for a major food company. Uh, Left there and went back to federal government working for Department of Army in the contracting office and spent about a year uh, working in contracting and got the opportunity to go and work for a federal emergency management agency uh, and went to work for FEMA out of the uh, regional office in Chicago, where I worked as a senior logistics manager for about two years. Hmm. Um, Following uh, my time with FEMA, I got another opportunity to start a small logistics company and I had been doing that since about 2019. Got the... uh, but for being an entrepreneur and started looking at other opportunities. And that's how I came upon Naturals to Go. So you got the bug of the entrepreneur. Now you have been in the service, you've been in the military, you've been in corporate. What was it? Who planted this bug for you, Dallas? What made you want to be an entrepreneur? Well, ultimately, you know, I, again, I was uh, fortunate to have the opportunity to do a lot of things in uh, my career. And one of the things that I found is the limitations of working for someone else. Of course, spent years in the military where, although I enjoyed it, you know, structured environment and things that I wanted to do. Ultimately, you know, my first job was service to the nation. So when I started the logistics business, I realized I had freedom, flexibility Mm -hmm. of time. You know, my effort 
that I put forth, that reward was based on the amount of effort I put in. And I could kind of control that and, uh, and it allowed me freedom to travel, which I enjoyed doing with my family. So I realized, you know, being an entrepreneur is ultimately what it's all about. And so you found that in entrepreneurship. So Dallas, tell me, what was it about Naturals to Go that you felt might be a really good fit for you as well? Well, I'll be honest. I was actually attending a conference here in San Antonio with some of the franchisors, and that's where I met the team from Naturals to Go. And I was just so impressed with them because they stood out out of all the other franchisors there. They were really, uh, you know, working the room, making themselves available to everyone, answering questions, kind of explaining the brand and I uh, met uh, Brian Fury, went over and met mm-hmm. Heath and the team. And just for me, just felt like, you know, this is a good group of folks, genuine, you know, and just very sharing of the information about the brand and really piqued my interest, looked into it a little more and realized, you know what, this here is something that kind of fits what I'm looking for because it allows me flexibility to manage my time, uh, also the ability to uh, work remote and still be able to monitor my inventory and things of that nature, uh, while at the same time generating revenue. So yeah. that that was really the draw. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When you talk about generating revenue, that happens even when you're sleeping, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, I I mentioned that you had just recently gone to training. Tell me a little bit about your experience in training. Okay. So the uh, training uh, for me, uh, again, was impressed. Uh, The information uh, from the time I uh, received the notification of the training, there was regular communication. Mr. Al reached out, kind of went over everything, the checklist, so I understood exactly what to expect, what things I was going to need to do. Uh, All of the coordination was pretty much kind of laid out for me, you know, uh, the hotel, what the class structure was going to be when you arrived, the check-in at the hotel, just the whole venue was very nicely put together, and, uh, you know, all the staff was accommodating uh, the, the way that the rooms were set up, had the vending machines on site uh, and positioned all around the room. So you were able to, you know, take, take a look at ultimately the different types of equipment. Mm-hmm. And there was plenty of pieces of equipment to kind of accommodate all of the people that were there for the training. Mm-hmm. So Dallas, I'm just thinking being a logistics guy coming out of the service, I'm sure that meant a lot to you seeing that it, everything was laid out, that there was a plan and you knew what that plan was. I'm sure that was important to you. It was. And I'll be honest, I'm, I'm very uh, critical and detail oriented. <laughs> you know, and, you know, again, the, <clears throat> the time that I spent, uh, and the medical field in the blood bank, you know, ultimately required me, you know, this type A personality because every, you know, every time you process your blood, you know, it had to be 100%. There was no deviation. So very detail oriented. I got into logistics, the planning piece. And again, understanding all the considerations that go into any plan. So again, when I, you know, got there, just, you know, the, how everything was th- well thought out and plan, you know, the the accommodations, the training areas, the meals, everything was just very seamless. And, you know, of course, the Natural Sago team had an abundance of staff there to where, you know, every, you know, everywhere you turned, there was someone that you could talk to or ask a question. And I really appreciated that. Mm-hmm. Now, when you left training, did you feel a little more prepared for this vending business that you had just jumped into than you did when you first got there? (laughs) Absolutely. Uh, Again, you know, to to be able to attend a training, you know, and have the president of the company there, some of the engineers there, your people who do placement for you, some of the, you know, coaches or account managers, the fact that they themselves actually are operators 
it just kind of gave me this sense of, hey, I, I can do this. I can, I can do this. And yeah. if I get in, you know, and if I get into you know, a tough spot where I'm kind of unsure, well, I've met several people within the organization that all actually have experience in all areas and not just a group of salespeople. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point. You need to know that you've got people in your corner, right? Yes, absolutely. That's important. That's important. So, Dallas, as you think about growing your vending business, what does that look like for you? Do you have an idea yet of what that's going to look like or what you have a goal of achieving? Yes, yes I do. And again, because I have another uh, small operation going, I wanted to start off uh, initially uh, with five machines to ensure that I get you know, the ability to truly get my arms around what it is I'm doing and fully understand it. Mm-hmm. And that would allow me at that point to then scale more rapidly if mm-hmm. I go into it smaller, understand it, and then be able to grow my operation. So my plan is start off with the five and then <clears throat> within, you know, three to four months, additional five and provided things are going well, additional five and ultimately to hit 20 machines, hopefully uh, by the time I'm a year to 14 months in. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm sure you met people at training that have quite a few machines. Oh, and yes. and so it's really great to know that that's scalable and it sounds like that kind of fits your goal and your vision as well. It does. It does. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So As we wrap up here, Dallas, and I appreciate you sharing all this information and, you know, just coming out of training, you are feeling more comfortable than you did when you went in. But are there any thoughts? Do you have any thoughts about your journey with Naturals to go so far? I know it's been a short journey, but up to this point, do you have any thoughts that you'd want to share with someone? Well, again, I have a small business, so I'm always in communication with other entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. One of the things you hear a lot of times is the uncertainty or the doubt. Again, because of what the folks at Naturals to Go have shown me so far, I feel totally at ease about the journey I'm getting ready to embark on, knowing that, you know, since I've left training, I've already had a, a call with the account manager in the group. As a matter of fact, I've got a call with her tonight, a one-on-one uh, at five o'clock, you know, to uh, kind of see where I'm at and, uh, you know, just the continued communication with the team and uh, just knowing that they're there for me and ultimately want to see me succeed and that I can reach out and, you know, whatever questions I have or any assistance I need, I, I know that the team is there uh, ready to assist. Yeah, absolutely. And do you have a family that's going to be joining you in this this venture? Yes. As I scale, I bring my wife on board to help out. And I've got two teenage girls. And like I told them, this is going to be, you know, their opportunity, one, to kind of earn earn the money that they spend, but an introduction to business for them, uh, you know, assisting with, you know, managing the inventory picking the selection of products and pricing and things of that nature. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. It is a great business model because family business model, because it's such a simple business model and it's not super complicated there. Yeah, absolutely. Dallas, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy day and sharing a little bit about your journey with those that may be looking at Naturals to Go as a possibility to take their next step. So folks, thanks so much for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. So let's live the vibe. Thank you. That's a wrap for this episode of the Vibecast. We hope you've been inspired and empowered on your entrepreneurial journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow us on all your favorite platforms to stay connected with the Vibe community. Until next time, keep nurturing that strong vision, fueling your inspiration, and embracing a sense of belonging and empowerment. Your dreams are within reach, so keep living the vibe.